spring game is in the books. Everybody came to watch the new Leopards under new head coach John Troxell. There's an old Leopard, however, everybody likes to watch too, and that's Malik Ham. Malik, tell us a little bit about the experience today. How did things go? Uh, things went good. It's good to see everything sort of come together for this last day of the spring. You know, it feels like the ending of something, but it's only the beginning because it's going to get us ready for uh, September 3rd. And hopefully we go out there and get those wins this season and uh, win the Patriot League championship. Talk a little bit about that coaching change. Mike St. Germain in charge of the defense. How difficult is it to pick up a new system or is it fairly easy for you? Uh, for me, since uh, we've been through a couple of different defenses at my time here, so it was a little bit easier to adjust to it. It's a different terminology, but at the same time, uh, it's kind of the same concepts. But it's just interesting for each new defensive coordinator to just understand what their philosophy is, and I feel like that's just the biggest thing you got to understand under each coaching change. I saw a change in the philosophy concerning you today. You were in a lot of different positions. Uh, so you were standing up. You were down along the defensive line, and at one point you broke up a pass. What's going on? Yeah, um, I mean, I'll just go where my coach tell me to go. I'll trust them to put me in the best position for me and uh, for the team as a whole. So I just do what they tell me, and uh, they oftentimes put me in good positions, and uh, I'm just thankful for that. We've enjoyed watching you play so far. I can't wait to see one more year out of you. Uh, thank you. I appreciate y'all for watching us. Thank Defensive you. end, Malik Han. We'll see him soon. Last year's starting quarterback got injured towards the end of the season, Sean Davis. Sean, tell us a little bit about the learning process you have to go through with a new head coach. Um, learning process with the offense, you know, just locking in on my reads. You know, it's a lot of, you know, get out there. We have to see what the defense is doing. We have to lock in on a specific uh, player on the defense. That's our key read. And, you know, uh, a lot of RPOs and, you know, um, giving, making sure we make the right read, making sure we're on the uh, correct people to block. You know, it's, it's, it's so much better, you know. Uh, change is never tough. I mean, change is never uh, easy. And, you know, uh, this process has just been great, you know, with the coaches, you know, they're helping us out every day. And, you know, it's, it's just a blessing for them. Looks like the quarterback position is going to be very competitive. You've got guys who look good in the scrimmage, Rent Monty, certainly, and Aaron Angelos. I'm sure you guys uh, really love kind of pushing one another. Yes, sir. Definitely in meetings every day. You know, we go up there every day. We we know we talk, we, we compete um, uh, in the weight room. We definitely compete in our hair. That's where, that's where we compete the most, you know, uh, definitely getting reps and, you know, making sure we're at our top of our game. We're familiar with some of the wide receivers, but a guy who was kind of new to us coming in today, Carl Smith, he had himself a great uh, maroon white game. Yes, sir. Carl Smith, you know, that's our Swiss Army knife. You know, he's going to play uh, slot outside running back. As you've seen him, uh, he's going to get some reps at running back, you know, and he, he's a, he, he's been a great addition. You know, uh, he's also been helping me out a lot. You know, I'm, I'm a young quarterback, so, you know, I, I take some tips from him as well. I like the uh, term Swiss Army knife. We'll use that during the broadcast. Yes, uh, Sean, can't wait to see you in the fall. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. One of the best linebackers, if not the best linebacker in the Patriot League, Marco Olivas, 117 tackles last year. Uh, just another day for you at the office, right? Yeah, you know, it was just a good day to come out here and work. Beautiful weather, you know, it was great to come out and compete with the guys, just end spring ball with a bang and, you know, put everything together and see what we can do in the fall. I always get the feeling you're a guy who just likes to hit people. You know, I love it. You know, everything football, including the hitting, I love it. You know, it's just something... You, you got to have it in you. You just got to be a dog, and you just got to love it. Well, if, if there certainly is a positive coming into this season, it has to be the defense. You've got nine guys back, starters last year. The defense looks solid today, and I think you're going to be the main man to make sure everybody plays the way they should. Yeah, I know the defense looks great. You know, new system in here, so we had to, you know, little bumps in the road, having to learn it, put everything together. But I'm liking it. It's letting us play fast, and like you said, we got a bunch of guys coming back that. Played here, a bunch of veterans ready to go after next season. Talk a little bit about the bumps. How difficult is it to learn a new defense? You know, at the end of the day, you're playing defense, so you're going to have your same concepts. You cover twos, you cover threes, cover fours, things like that. But every coordinator puts their own little twist, their own little different verbiage. So, yeah, it's a little bit having to, you know, get rid of the old verbiage, having to, you know, go over new rules and new things like that. But once you get it and get it in your head, everything's out, and then all the new stuff is in, and you're ready to go. I would think you're a guy responsible for team spirit. How's the spirit on the ball club? Oh, the spirit's great. You know, these guys are ready to win. You know, the, we were talking about it earlier. This isn't going to be a rebuild year. We're ready to win now. We, we got the potential to win now. We got the talent to win now, and we got the coaches we can to win now. We're ready to watch them win now. Uh, Mark Olivas, linebacker extraordinaire in the Patriot League. One of the things that a player wants to do in the spring football game is shine. And nobody's shown better today than Carl Smith. You made some spectacular catches out there. Yes, sir. Just long offseason, grinding, working, praying. Just blessings paying off, sir. I'm just working. 
Tell us a little bit about the work. Uh, you come out, you've got a new head coach, you've got a new offensive system, you got to put some new routes in your head a little bit. Uh, you seem pretty comfortable out there today. Yes, sir. New coaching staff came in and they made it real easy for us. They came in, they pushed us, they tested us, they definitely made us stronger, and they communicated with us. That was the strongest thing they did. Like We got real good communication. We all bonded together closer as a team. And now when we start clicking, it's just going to be unstoppable. I'm just excited. Awesome. All three quarterbacks today really did a nice job out there. Does it matter to you? I mean, is there a difference between quarterbacks that are throwing to you? Truthfully, no. As long as all the quarterbacks, we all on the same page. I try to work chemistry with all the team, all the players, so I really can't pick a favorite. As long as everybody working and we doing good, that's all I want. I believe you had a couple touchdowns today. You want to talk about them? I had two. I was hyped. I was excited. <laughs> I'm happy I got to do something today. I'm just ready. I was hyped. Both of them were great catches. The yes, one sir. here where the ball was thrown to a spot. Yes, you sir. were at that spot. The other one in the far corner where you had to leap up and make that catch. Uh, pretty exciting day. I'm really excited to watch you perform in the fall. Yes, sir. Thank you. Me and the quarterbacks, work timing, back shoulders, all that. It's just a long summer. We're going to keep working so we can do the same in the fall. Just keep getting better. I think I'll be calling the name Carl Smith quite a bit this season. Carl, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. All right. It's not my job to analyze how things went in the spring football game. It's this guy's job. So I'm going to ask you, how'd you like the way things went today? Well, I thought the kids played with a lot of energy. They were excited. Uh, you know, it's a chance to get to evaluate him. I mean, that's the big thing. And, and we got great tape on him just to try and put the pieces together. Mm -hmm. You know, we obviously learning a new offense and defense, it's, it's hard to do. And so the, I think the kids did a pretty good job. We got to eliminate a lot of mistakes. We got a lot of work to do, but uh, you could see that we have a chance to, to probably compete with a lot of teams. I came here expecting the defense to dominate. They did that in the first couple series, but then the offense seemed to get pretty comfortable out there. And I'll tell you what, there's nothing for the fans better than scoring some touchdowns and they got that job done. Yeah, you know, it's it's good to always good to get in the end zone, you know, and I think uh, you know, the offensive staff has done a great job of of doing things that our kids can be successful at, you know, not really just sitting in the pocket and holding it, but but getting the ball out of our quarterback's hand, which is important. You know, and and defensively, I mean, you know, you know, when you look at it, we stopped the run today, and, and that's the one thing. If you're going to win in this league, you need to be able to stop the run and force people to throw the ball on you. And, uh, you know, we were missing Ian Grayson today. Obviously, Malik didn't play a ton. Uh, so we're going to be pretty good on defense, I think. So it's, it's good to see our offensive guys compete against them. No question about it, and I think the people at home uh, should know you only had one healthy running back. So to put that pressure on the running game today was just not going to happen. Yeah, correct. And and, and we knew that. And again, we only had five healthy defensive linemen. So, uh, you know, so you saw what, you know, in the first couple series, what the defense can do in terms of stopping the run. Then fatigue will set in. So we have to build depth and we have to get, you know, those those guys that are going to be instrumental in making us a winning winning program aren't necessarily just your ones, but getting those twos up to speed. So what happens now between today? I know you have the banquet right after uh, this ball game. What happens between today and when you come back out on the field to get ready for Sacred Heart? Well, so, you know, we're going to do uh, end of season evaluation. So we'll evaluate all the kids, which is really important. And we got to get back to recruiting. You know, we got to get ready to fill the next class. And then we bring our kids back on July 5th. And then we're going to start, start working them hard again. The kids will have workouts to do at home while they go home. We'll have some guys staying on campus. Then the whole team will be here on the 5th of July ready to work. You have a plethora of uh, freshmen coming on campus. I think are 20-some. Uh, I'm sure you're certainly looking forward to getting them here, getting more bodies here, getting more guys uh, out on the field. Yeah, there's no doubt. You know, it, it's it's challenging. Even in this league with a roster of 90, you get a few guys hurt. You know, at certain spots, it can be critical to the success of your program. So, uh, for us, we're going to need those guys to come in here and compete like heck. Coach Troxell, I can't wait for the season to start. Enjoy whatever summer you have left and get back at it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, guys. Hey, by the way, yes. happy birthday. Oh, well, thank you very much. I've had plenty of them, so <laughs> that's it. Coach Troxell, always great to talk to him. I know he looks pretty old to be a football player, but he's going to be up in the booth again, and I am so happy about that. Mike Joseph, the analyst for the Lafayette Sports Network. September 3rd will come around quickly enough, but... You know what? This was a pretty darn good showing here by both sides of the football. Yeah, I was I was excited. I thought the offense was much more explosive than I thought they were going to be. I thought the defense showed up early. You can see the running game not getting much push up front, but that's to be expected. So with the front seven that Lafayette has, mm -hmm. defense looks solid. But I tell you, if they can get competition at that quarterback position and then they get showed out some of these wide receivers, 
Carl Smith, terrific. Obviously, Juju. I tell you what, they're explosive offensively. I know you're a defensive guy. The defense looks like the strong suit for the Leopards coming in, and uh, they played very well today. Uh, obviously, I think that's going to be what we hang our hat on, and hopefully the offense plays a bit like they did today. Yeah, I think if you can get off to a good start defensively, obviously at the bookends of Malik, and you got uh, you know uh, um, guys all across the defensive line. The front seven looks strong. You got to leave us in there. You got Preston, and then if you can get some more work out of your secondary guys, obviously some corner work, looking for a corner safeties. But I thought they were explosive on offense, and I thought defensively stout against the run. They're going to need to be that come early in the year with the schedule that they have. We always talk about next man up. One of the good signs is I think we've got three experienced quarterbacks, yep. all of whom uh, look pretty good today. Yeah, I was excited about the competition. Mm -hmm. I think there were competition. Obviously, a Sean Davis is the guy coming in, but the other guys had played. Remember, you go back to the Air Force game, uh, Angelos played early in that game, got hurt, and then obviously Rent Monty, they're challenging each other. I think it's a good room to be in, so there's a lot of competition, and that's what you want at this level. Ready for September 3rd, Sacred Heart. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I will be there. I'm here now. Right. It's a beautiful day. Thanks. Mike and I will certainly be with you on the Lafayette Sports Network throughout the entire home season. Thanks for joining us.